Welcome to Sydney, 1983. It's big and bold and you can get lost here and reinvent yourself because every freak needs a home, a culture, a language. And this is ours. <laughs> In Our Blood is a story about Australia's response to the AIDS pandemic. It's about what happens when different groups can come together and how they can create lasting change. If you want to change the world, you have to change the law. It's really kind of taking some risks and it's adventurous storytelling. The cops raided Patches. Are you serious? They arrested five guys and they hate that they won't be able to intimidate us. I think when you think about the 80s, you think about the wonderful music that came out of that era. We have a version of a Greek chorus. They sing and they dance and they act and they move from scene to scene and merge into these different characters in this beautiful, magical realism fluidity. So they're kind of like taking our hand and guiding us throughout the story. For Hoodlum and for me, we always look for projects that matter, and we were introduced to this project through the creator, Adriana Capoletta. Originally, I wrote the show as a play, and I thought, well, what would it be like if I tried to adapt this for TV? And here we are today, filming on set, and yeah, it's, it's surreal that it's really happening. What attracted me was that it was unusual for an Australian production. I hadn't actually seen one that was kind of using a real life a historical moment that, that I lived through as a child as well. Some people would call this pornographic. They're trying to make sex safer and safer sex sexy. This story was not like the story that I thought, which was about people taking moral judgment and leaving gay men to die. And it was totally different. It was a story about the government actually taking action. Showing how these community members joined up together and fought for their lives, that's, that's a story worth telling. Make sure there's uniformity of approach across all the states, one national strategy. Stop this next phase before it starts. I've never worked on a set that's been as happy as this and where everybody has had such a shared sense of purpose. What the producers and the directors really set out to achieve was to create a community of our own. I feel the production has done an incredible job of reaching out to the queer community. The more queer stories are told by queer people, the more authentic they'll be, the more they'll strike a chord with audiences. What will come through in this show is this sort of level of authenticity, and it's more than that, I think it's lived experience. So all of those things have just given such a, an extra level of heart and community in this show that, has, that I really think makes this show quite unique. All right, you criminals and reprobates. We know how much you love your illegal status, but we have some bad news to impart. <sighs> the New South Wales Parliament has decided it does love sodomy after all. Yeah.